I want to bring Mal in on this to sort of pick up on the points that Catherine and Colm have raised. What are your thoughts on this, Mal? Oh, good afternoon, Chloe. Um, look, I think the French law actually mirrors something that's already happening in labour unions and companies in other countries, like Germany, especially in the car manufacturing industry. Um, this instigation of a right to switch off or right to disconnect, as the French are calling it. And I think it recognises three important things. And these are bigger picture issues. The first is that constantly being digitally engaged actually if you look at a number of studies worldwide now, has something of a negative impact on cognitive function, on the way we think. Um, the technology is not the problem, it's how we engage with it. Secondly, it's a recognition, I think, that email is now being treated as a form of social media. And that's a new thing that didn't happen before, and it changes the way we engage with things like email. And the third thing, which is very important, is that paid vacation time was hard won. Uh, flexi time was hard won in many companies, and now digital engagement, if we're not careful, will slowly chip away at our right to time off or paid time off or, or time off generally. Um, by the way, this issue of using social media and email almost interchangeably is a relatively new thing. Emails have become shorter as a result. Uh, they're written more in stream of consciousness style, especially by younger workers now. And with that comes the pressure to answer an email more quickly. In one recent study, Chloe, the average worker said they tried to respond to a new email within a few minutes and among younger people, it was less than two minutes. Some said, I'll answer it within six seconds. And that, when you're working at home or in the office, is surely a recipe for constant distraction and diminished downtime.